Chris came home, he was like, oh, wow. Did Good morning, everyone. It snowed. <gasps> Look at So beautiful. Good morning, Miss Monk. How you doing in here? You look good. You happy to be in here? Wait until you see outside. I put this on the ground just to see how cold it is in here. And it's pretty, I don't know if this is right, but I think it is. Um, yeah, it says it's 45 in here. I have no shoes on. <laughs> so I guess it might be. Here's the one that's up here. We have, you know, of course, a couple different temperature things because you never really know. And this one says 50. So I think Monk's doing pretty good in here. Look how cozy it is in here right now. It's like 7 o'clock, though. It's pretty dark, but look at the flyer. I love seeing the little bird feet. <laughs> They're all around. It's so cute. Look at that. Here's the backyard. It is sunny. It is cold. I did get the birds some new bird seed yesterday, so they should be excited. You guys look how pretty this looks the sun's coming out it looks so pretty i am done shoveling for now because i gotta get ready i gotta go but i like to make why is that doing that i like to make little paths for the animals so that you know they don't have to walk in the snow and i know i only have monkey bee but I kind of cleared out the place that she likes to hang out at when the sun's out. So why is it doing that? I think it's just too cold out here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, I think it's just too cold. So my camera's not working very well. But yeah, this is a little path so she could walk around. I have to go clean up her area still. But Pretty, pretty. I thought, I thought Monkey Bee wanted to come out and you guys could see her come out, but she's like, hell no. So I'm gonna get her some water and yeah. Oh, what you saw me do was pull out some of her um, poos and peas, you know, and I'm just throwing it on our lawn. It's just gonna recycle in there anyway. So yeah, that's what I was doing. Now I have to go get her her treat, her pot and water and get ready for the day. Okay, you guys, I'm back from the wild. Out there was pretty wild. Actually, this morning when I drove, it wasn't bad. And then now it's like icy and wet, so whatever. Anyway, do you guys remember me talking about, if not, if you didn't watch, um, the vegan menudo from the last episode? Well, I am gonna make it because this is so quick in the instapot and you don't even i mean you could like grill the onion and garlic and the chilies and all that but i'm not doing that i got a headache so 
um, here is everything, but I'm missing one very important ingredient and I can't pronounce it correctly, so I'll put it on the screen here. But yeah, the, it, it should be fine. Um, anyway, so what I do is I blend some of these, these chilies, this, some of this onion, not all this onion. I think this one's not good. Uh, and all I have is red onion and I just can't do that. Um, I do put a little cumin in the menudo. I'm gonna use the no beef, beef stock. You have to use Mexican oregano. My Baileys are pretty sad looking because usually I write spells on them and burn them. But <laughs> these are what I have. And um, I wanted to show you this. It calls for these other chilies, but um, I don't want to make it too spicy because I don't want to hear Chris go, oh, it's so hot. So I'm not going to put these in there, but I just wanted to show you. And this is from this fresh one that's kind of drying out is from my garage. I'm kind of drying out those chilies out there because I tried to do in my dehydrator and I literally pepper sprayed <laughs> the whole house. So I'm just letting them do their thing out there. But yeah, so you just blend all that together. Well, not the bay leaves, but you blend it all together um, with some water. And then I'm going to add these, the rest of these mushrooms and these mushrooms and cook it in my Instapot for like 17 minutes. Of course, I'm going to de-seed and stem these. So if you're like, I'm going to copy this recipe because I don't do recipes. Um, just know if you're like, oh, she had like these five really nice chilies. Uh, yeah, take the stems and the seeds out. The blending's done. It looks a little orange, but it, it, it'll come out redder. Um, anyhow, here are the mushrooms. I cut them. I cut them like this, slice them like this. It, it just, it's a little different and I like the texture of it, it's almost like the texture of, you know, well, not the texture, but you know, kind of reminds me of the tripe because it's tripe soup anyway. But honestly, these mushrooms, these little mushrooms that I showed you, these ones are so good, but it does, it looks like little penises. So I might change the name instead of vegan menudo because that's kind of dumb. I might change it to penis soup or dick soup. What do you guys think? hot dick soup <laughs> oh my gosh so here it is in the pot and I just kind of put the water to cover because all those mushrooms are going to shrink so much and it's going to be really brothy um so what I usually do is I put it on high on the insta pot and on pressure cook for 17 minutes and then I let it cool down itself um, and I do that in my garage because we all know I don't like the smell of food in my house. The best part of this soup is that it's not as fatty as tripe and you don't have to worry about getting all the cutting out fat and all that stuff. So it's actually quite healthy. And then all the toppings you put in it. I'm a toppings kind of gal. I do more than the lime, cilantro, and onions and the tortilla. I actually throw in like some lettuce because I, I really like that and um, sometimes I'll throw in chips too. <laughs> you guys look how beautiful it is out here. I have a bunch of birds that uh, I just scared away. They've been eating all the birds. I threw a bunch down over here and I put some in the little bird feeder but you yeah, know. I think the squirrel came and got it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Oh, and I gotta tell you. So yes, I am wearing the Moo Moo. Sorry, my dishwasher is going on right now. But, <laughs> so I have to tell you, when Chris got home on, uh, what day was that? What day did I film, Monday? Did I film Monday or Tuesday? I don't even remember. Oh, Monday. Duh, today's Wednesday. Um, when Chris came home, he was like, Oh, wow. Did, did Connie send you a Christmas present? And Connie's his mom. And I was like, no. It's, I just didn't want to pee-pee my pants anymore every time I cough. And he was like, 
Oh, wow, that's uh, so when you went shopping today, I see you got some sexy lingerie. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, you guys had to be there. I was just like, oh my god. He's like, well, maybe I should get one because, you know, we are the same size. I'm like, heck yeah, I'll buy you one, $9 to see you in this. I might do that. But um, anyway, so that's the update on the Moo Moo. I washed it um, yesterday because I hate, and it's not, it doesn't even have to be white, but I hate when people have dirt around their you know, whatever, the edge of their sleeves. I hate it so much. It just, it kind of grosses me out. <laughs> like even with, if you're wearing a flannel and it's just, mm, it really grosses me out. So um, obviously I had some dirt because I was playing with the fireplace and I washed it. I think I might have a little bit more. I get kind of neurotic with those kind of things, but <laughs> yeah, it washed up really well. And I've actually slept with it, which is, I don't sleep with clothes on, okay? I feel like you breathe better if you're naked, even though you're, you have covers on. <laughs> I don't know. It's just better to sleep naked. I am a hippie-ish. Hippie-ish. Anyhow, um, so yeah, that's the update on the Moo Moo. It's very comfortable. It, um, did I tell you it has pockets? It has pockets. And um, it washed up great. It's still super soft. I, I'm in love with it. I know I don't look the best. I look like a clown in a tent, especially with this hair. Oh, Lord. I'm kind of starting to look like Carrot Top this, this season, this winter beautiful season. Um, so, yeah, that's. When I had update, I thought I was gonna tell you something else. Oh, last year's curse jar, $600. I used um, most of that to get wood, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I just wanted to show you Monkey Bee's plate. I cut her up some apple, she has some chips, she has some arugula. This is a great snack plate for anyone. And I put uh, a little blueberries. So this is her um, going into the house treat. She's not spoiled, not at all. Monkey Bee, you like your treat? Oh, you're a good girl. Good girl. It is done. The thing is down. So we are gonna try this. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Oof. Yum. Can't really see anything. Hold on, let me get a spoon. And um, I'm not going to try this on camera. Like, you were not going to see me eat this, but. And the only reason why is because now I named it Hot Dick Soup. <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe a little inappropriate. But let me try it. Let me put you down. Oh, shit. My spoon fell in. Ah. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure these mushrooms are cooked all the way. Yep. Here's what it looks like. Hopefully you can see. Mmm. Oh my God, it's so good. I have to get the spoon out. Oh my God. Make this, this is so good. It doesn't even have any of the other stuff in it yet. Oh my God. Oh, and I only used half of that um, no beef, beef broth cube only half of one. So yeah, I think this is the end of the video. Thanks for spending most of, no, my morning and late afternoon with me. I really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hi, thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's at the end or down there, whatever, you know. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And yeah, I hope I bring you some happiness, some lightness to your life because that's what we're all about, right? So yeah. Oh, I'm going to have a video up this weekend. I think on Sunday. I don't usually have a schedule, but I always post at least once a week, but more like twice a week, but I might be posting more. So maybe three times a week or, 
or four or I don't know. You let me know if you're getting sick of me. Just we're gonna be doing more things than you know snow <laughs> cooking. What did I call it? Hot dick soup. <laughs> Last year I felt so censored with my curse jar. So um, I don't, I mean, I do cuss a lot in real life, but I try not to do it so much on here, but every once in a while you gotta let it out, right? I mean, most smartest women cursed a lot. So I think I'm pretty smart. <laughs> smart ass. Anyhow, um, please like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for spending some time with me and I will see you real soon. Bye.